as you start working with the synthesized spectrum feature, you run into a peculiar problem. And that is, when you're adjusting the contrast, in order to be able to see the low-level lines over here, the higher-level lines get washed out. The same thing in color. In order to see the low-level lines over on the right in the red, the higher-level lines get washed out. We'll show you in this video how to normalize this curve so that the synthesized spectrum is easier to read. Under Reference, I'll go to Edit Points, and then I'm going to use the Spline Filtering to create a relatively even spline and click close. Now I'm going to under reference go to math on two points and what we're going to do here is divide the red by the blue so that when the two are the same value our result will be one. When the red is greater than the blue we'll have a number greater than one and vice versa. When the red's less than the blue we'll have a number less than one. When I click Calculate, we can see that the result of the division are numbers that are normalized around 1.0. Let's move it over to the profile and close that blue smooth spectrum. So there it is, a normalized curve. Let's compare it to the original that we started with. I'm going to open the original we started with as a reference so that we can see both of them on the same graph. And here we can see that the features line up, but notice that the features in the original that are small are very large out here. And we'll come back to that in a moment, but first let's look at how nice this looks in the synthesized spectrum when we work with a normalized curve. Now, unlike when we started, we can see all of the absorption or emission lines because we've normalized that curve. Now let's take a look at a page in Richard Walker's Atlas that describes the process that we just went through. Here on page 7 of the atlas, at the bottom paragraph, we can see a description of doing a division to remove the continuum and normalize the curve. This page and the following page describes the steps we went through and why. Okay, back in our spec here, we can see there's a fair amount of noise in the profile that's reflected with a lot of lines down in the synthesized spectrum down here. Let's clean that up. On edit points, we'll just apply our spline. Now we have to jump through some hoops here. What we want to do is take that blue reference curve and move it onto the primary profile line. First we'll save it and we'll give it this name RS Normalized Smooth. Then we'll close it and now we'll just open it again as the primary profile. So with a couple of steps, we've moved that blue reference profile back to the red primary profile so that we can see that in black and white or color, the synthesized spectrum is really clear. There's not a lot of noise and the features really stand out. And that's because we normalized our profile graph and then we smoothed it. 